All right, nursing students, let's talk about inline suctioning. If your intubated or tricked patient is having trouble breathing, or they're coughing but having trouble clearing their airway, or their oxygen sats are dropping, they may need to be suctioned. If your patient is on a ventilator, they will have inline suction set up. Some non ventilated patients have this as well. This means the patient has tubing directly connected to their trach for easy suctioning. First, we always want to start with assessment. We want to make sure the pulse ox is attached. Maybe their lungs sound congested or they have increased work of breathing. So it's time to suction. Before we begin, we can increase the patient's FiO2 or oxygen percentile briefly to hyperoxygenate pre-suctioning. You can also press the button that says O2 breaths. This delivers 100% FiO2 for a preset amount of time and then returns to the previous setting. If the patient has inline suction, this is a quick, easy process. You want to start by unlocking the thumb valve. This should already be connected to active suction. A little pro tip is give the thumb valve a quick push to see if you hear the suction coming through the tubing. If not, make sure your suction is on before you start. Suction machines and wall suction should be set to less than 200 millimeters of mercury for adults. Now continue down carefully until you meet resistance. Then you'll draw back slightly before you begin begin to apply suction. Some closed systems will have measurements on them and you'll know how deep to go ahead of time. All right, now it's time to apply suction. Press the thumb valve with your dominant hand and begin to draw the tubing out of the airway while stabilizing the trach or ET tube with the non-dominant hand. Draw the tubing out within five to 15 seconds. A little pro tip is that if your patient tries to cough while suctioning, this will loosen the secretion so you can suction them out. Then we're going to assess our patients again. How do their vital signs look? Do they seem to be breathing easier and how do their lungs sound? They may need to be suctioned again if they have lots of secretions. When you're completely done suctioning, make sure to lock the thumb valve to prevent accidental suctioning and reduce infection rates. That's all for inline suctioning. Why should suctioning never exceed 15 seconds? Let me know in the comments. Happy studying future nurses.